My name is Duke Kodaverdian from Duke Photography. Uh, I've been doing wedding photography for the last 11 years. I uh, started uh, doing um, non-Armenian weddings uh, ever since I started shooting weddings, but uh, the last three, four years I actually have been so intrigued doing Armenian weddings only because the quality that the bride and grooms are after these days are a lot higher than what it used to be. So it's no longer the cookie cutter Armenian weddings. Everyone's stepping out of the box wanting to uh, go to great locations. They go as far as like uh, renting out great venues or locations for photo shoots and uh, great lengths to get the best photos. So I wanted to uh, say a few words of advice to the future bride and groom. Um, these are all in respect to um, not only the photography or videography part of your wedding but also for the rest of the day. This is your special day. Uh, it happens once in your life and it's, it's a very live event, so you always have to be prepared for everything that you're doing. Um, and it starts with hiring an event planner before your wedding, uh, either a full service event planner or the day event planner. Some people do one or the other. Uh, if the full service event planner is hired, then it is the best thing to do for yourself because not only that event planner will have so many great vendors lined up for you, will you know, go everywhere with you, making sure that the people you choose are the right people, the suitable people for your wedding. But also the event planner will take care of every little detail, from flowers, from the makeup and hair and the timelines, the limo companies, the photographers, uh, videographers, everyone, you know, gets, uh, you know, uh, put in the right timeline. Um, the second thing that is very important and it, it sets your day uh, from the get-go is the, having the right hair and makeup and the right hair and makeup style for yourself. Um, I see a lot of brides uh, either don't do a test or pre-wedding um, you know, hairstyle makeup, um, just a trial version to see what they like. And you know, they, all, they, all, they do it at the day of the wedding, which is very wrong thing to do. And we always see like they're usually late half hour, one hour, even two hours. By then things really fall apart because if you're late two hours, then you're late two hours for your photo or video session. You're even gonna be late for ceremony and it's even gonna make you delay your wedding reception. So um, having the right hair and makeup artist is very important. That's something that, again, a lot of people don't pay attention. Sometimes it's great to have the artist come to your house. You know, you don't have to drive to a salon because that drive time, some, some brides want to drive a half hour away just because they like this certain hairstylist or makeup person. And that also is a really a big problem because you get stuck in the traffic, you know, you have to be picked up by a car or driven there. So if you can be in the comfort of your house and have the hair person, the makeup person come to you, it would really make things go very, very smoothly for you. Uh, we've done many weddings in December, in November, in January, in February, that it's, it's rained and we've had that just this past seasons. And just remember that you, you have to talk to your, um, either the event planner or the photographer, videographers for uh, what to do in case it rains, because it can. Um, luckily, a lot of the weddings um, in, in, in the valley area or in the uh, Middle Eastern uh, sector, they're usually indoors, like ceremony and reception, so you don't have to worry about the being rained down at your ceremony or rained down at your reception. Also, if there are photographers, videographers, or any other vendors that you really like, but they are maybe low out of your budget, 500,000, 1,500, uh, look at it in a, in, a, in a big picture. Think about it years and years from your wedding when you're all successful business people or doctors or lawyers and by then that thousand or fifteen hundred dollars wouldn't even mean anything and then you'll always sit down and say I wish I hired so and so because that so and so person would have done a better job or that location or, or whichever. So. Think about it in, in the future base. Um, so many people do things in a smaller scale just to cut back, but then they end up like, uh, you know, having that, uh, um, that disappointment years later. Like, why didn't we go a little extra and hired this, this company? So don't make a mistake on, you know, just because you want to cut 500 from a photographer or 1,000 from a photographer or videographer, 
um, and have to settle with someone that you don't even like. Because if you don't like someone and you're hiring that person because of the price, then with all honesty, that's going to show in every photograph that that person takes from you. Uh, because your expressions really shows in photo and video all the time. And when you're in front of the camera during your portrait session in some great spots and you don't trust the person who's shooting you, then it really will show. It'll show every time, every, every photograph, every video.